Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now. Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on the channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. This video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Jump Show. Dr.
Welcome to it. This is Dr. Great Dub Show live on Twitch, Discord, YouTube, and home site. www.berealbook.tv. What it do? Um, I am here with the iconic one, Eric Big Drum Bobo. Deep motherfucker. Hmm, right off top, I'm huh? Ramping up. Sorry, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Um. In the treehouse, we've got the treehouse crew, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Yo, yo, how you guys doing today? Bobo breaking rules right off the start. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'm a rule breaker. Um, We got Cali Blaith in the building, the concentrate king. What to do, what to do. <laughs> so funny, there's a reel going around right now with some guy, like, ordering and saying, uh, he was in Mexico or something, but he was like... Hey, trying to pretend he had proper pronunciation. He was doing everything with a lisp. And the second you go to the com comments, everybody's like, where are you from? Spain, Spain, Spain. They're all making fun of him because he had that. Spain. Yep. Let's go to Ibiza. Yeah, right. Would you like to go to Ibiza? Uh, Ibiza's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. If you like to party. <laughs> you like to party in Ibiza, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's like easy, yes. Easy it's right very there. nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He like that is so nice. Uh, uh, you can go to Amsterdam and have some drinks and smokes. Smoking a pancake? Yeah. Pentacle. Uh, what it do? Um man. I I read this off the top right before we went on the air and it made me want it like immediately. Not hunger now, but just the palate. How do you feel about chocolate souffles, my? I make a mean one. I oh, knew man. you were gonna say I make a mean choice. I knew and, and like, in my mode. So my next question in response to that is when you bringing it down here, B. Well, we're gonna use that kitchen, hopefully. Oh well, that would be awesome. That will be um, dessert. Let's not yeah. even be talking about yep. that yet. Uh, but I will say chocolate souffles are awesome and it's national chocolate souffle day. Uh, had I known this the night before. Maybe I would have had one ready. Chocolate molten cake is good, too. Yep. And so what's the difference? I, th I thought they're kind of like the same, no? I don't know. I, 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 does, you souffle look have a, does souffle have like a feeling, or is yeah. it just fluffy and soft? Because that's like a molten lava that, cake, that's right? What that's what I thought. That's what I make is that one. Yeah, that one's yeah, a good one. The lava one. Me. But I thought that was like a souffle. That could. I, it's probably it's the same thing. One, yeah. The type of souffle. Possibly. Yeah, it's a lot of chocolate. It you says a lava a cake has a runny center, whereas souffle incorporates whipped egg whites. Ah, oh, okay. There you go. Cool. Gives it a more pillowy texture. Yes. So I make the lava cake yeah. one. Yeah. And, and the souffle is like the fluffy, yeah. soft. Right. They're both great, though. I would, <laughs> if I had both of them, I would have both of them. Is it like with dark chocolate? Yeah, choose your chocolate cake. And, and what did you say? It was whipped with whipped cream or? With, with eggs. Eggs, eggs. Gotcha. Whipped. Whipped eggs. Whipped eggs. That's a lot uh, of chocolate. Yes. 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 They're both oh, delicious. Yes, to both of them. Chocolate mousse cake is really good, too. Yeah, that's good, too. I like it. That's a delicious. I'll be excited when there's, like, you know, cherry pie day. There is a cherry pie day. Yeah, I'll I mean, be excited when that day. You like the cherry pie? I like the cherry pie. I like a blueberry better. Than, I like Blue cherry, but I like blueberries good. I like blueberries. Mm. I like all them berries. All the berries Bur are good. Berries. Berries. Boys and Bur berry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, those are those are all good. Cherry's good, very sweet and tart. But I like cheesecake when they put on top of the cheesecake, like the blueberries and in, in that, uh, like yeah, that's uh, good. Yeah, so all of them, strawberry, cherry. Oh, Junior's cheesecake in Brooklyn is like famous for their. their oh, it's so damn. That's where uh, um, Diddy in the what's it called, making of the band, the fake one. As we told but, him, yeah, but I want you to walk across the bridge to Junior's and get me a slice of cheesecake. That was that arm oh, shutting down the studio. That was great. That was that's Dave a, that's a great demand. Yeah, that was the Chappelle. I mean, it was a sketch, but that's a great demand. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? If you watch the actual show, he was really doing. He was great. really doing. Yeah. It, yeah, he made them walk somewhere like across the bridge into Queens, like in the middle of the night, and they actually did it. So he was basing it off real things, just made minor. I'm gonna make you pay dues and humiliate, give, show you humility at yeah. the same so, time. So yeah. probably like when they they shot that scene, it was like not under the premise that. You got to go and get me a cheesecake or else I'm shutting the studio down. But probably afterwards, they inserted that 
and said, "Well, he okay. was always threatening in that show. If you go back, he was he was always threatening, yes, yeah. shutting the studio, shut the down. studio down. So they were using real things, but like he didn't tell him to go take a picture with a midget holding these balloons, or <laughs> a guy with left-handed golf clubs, or all the things. I want you to get me breast you milk because I'm a Cambodian. Well, because you know, I only the, drink the finest breast milk. Because the thing about <laughs> shutting the studio down, what people have to understand, to people watching it, might not have been a big deal to them. Like, what's so? What's the big deal? It'll just be opened up tomorrow but realistically the the career you're trying to get and the impressions you're trying to make are based off of the work you do in that studio if it's shut down you feel so much further away from the task right you know so that's when they get burnt out whenever he threatened to shut the yep. studio down and do whatever to keep it open some of them anyway some of them just you know Man, did, any of them, milk did any of them made my kind of do anything after that band? No, you know the making the band. Did you ever hear of Dylan or any of them? Well, Dylan, Dylan definitely. Dylan. He just he's he was a forever <laughs> yep. you know sketch. Yeah. Yep, yeah, for sure. Um, but he couldn't. No, I think did, did, what's Chopper, that the, Chopper? Did he do anything? Yeah, he he's been doing stuff, man. He still, still? got shit. Yeah, he still oh, wow. got shit cracking. Okay. Um, it's maybe not on the superstar pop level that anyone, but you know, he's doing something. but he's definitely, yeah. and he can always say, you know, he's part of making the band mm -hmm. or whatever. Oh, he's still making a run, like yeah. for sure. And he wasn't bad. He no, wasn't bad back not then. at all. No. Uh, other than that, I don't really Yeah, I don't see think any of the girls did anything right. I don't think I've seen uh, them doing anything. I, you know, I haven't seen any, any of, any of the other ones yeah. doing, doing much. I see Chopper doing things, but like, I don't see them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But it's one of those platforms where you make or break yourself. You either, like, whether you win the thing or you just make a great impression, even though someone else right. won, someone is going to get down with you because how you get down. Yeah, you know, like Shark Tank. You don't have to get a deal there. Somebody's going to see you, and then they call you yeah, afterwards. They might be like, well, these guys did too, right. but I think that's a great idea, yep. and I'm going to reach out to these folks and try to, yep. you know, invest in their shit. Definitely. Um, yeah, I mean... It serves as a platform for you to make an impression. You don't always have to win, but if you make a good enough impression, you can you can make something out of that. Yep. I mean, and I think if some of those uh, groups were made from not from TV, but the TV pressure that has to look a certain way on TV to create a certain drama on TV, and, and if they were just doing the music, that would have been a different thing. But that probably played a part in why they didn't do anything afterwards. Too much behind the scenes. Too stuff, much behind the scenes stuff. Too much drama and True. you know who wants to work with people. Nobody. That's what I say. Nobody. Yeah, nobody. I, I, you know, I'm still trying to figure out the song. Like, so okay for for those of y'all that you know, like we um we had finished the show and we we're about to take this photo. With Cheech, like we normally do with every other guest, you know, once right before we go on to the mix, we gather up in this corner here and we take a photo. Um, and for some reason, I don't know if it was, I think it was C minus, he started off singing a song and we're, I'm like still trying to figure out which, which song it is and what doo-wop group it was. But Bobo and I joined in and we all sung this song and we got to a certain part where there's a, a harmony in there and we you hit it. we fucking hit you really did i was, I was like, like what just happened we're like how did we <laughs> yeah. i mean we were just kind of joking around but somehow we sung the line and hit the harmony and even cheech was like whoa everybody you think, was you shocked us do up <laughs> over here yeah i don't remember this i'm trying to remember the song i think c minus started started off singing it and you and i followed but we were talking about the intruders because we're yeah. The way that it led to the intruders was that I, I, I was talking about how I botched the interrupter's name mm -hmm. on the outro of, of that weekend broadcast, right. and I brought up the intruders, no. and I, I said... Maybe it was that song. No, because no. the song that, that C- minus started singing I thought was an intruder song. I think we all did, but it's not. Hmm. You know, um, what's his name might have it? Um, Javi Lopez. Because he records, he was recording. No, he didn't. He didn't. Oh, he wasn't he there yet. It. No, none of these guys got it because it was yeah. just total. Like when they were setting <laughs> up for the picture, uh, Cheech had went to the restroom. Yeah. Um, and we were waiting on him, and and he, as he's walking in here, yeah. 
is when we hit the note, but no one was recording or filming or take, you know. I got to hear it. It was real harmony. I was like, what the hell just happened? Where'd that come from? I wonder if C will remember the song because I think he'll he definitely was, remember. Because he start he's the one that started it. Real harmony. It, he started it, we followed him, and somehow we hit it. We looked at each other. Like, whoa, 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 shit. We got a future. Oh my God. Let's start a barbershop quartet. We need a fourth harmony. C minus on the what time, what song, when that song came out. <laughs> he little, yeah, he will he will know. Library. He will he will know. He's got a great memory for he things really like does. this. Um it's also National Sleeping Day. Are you gonna get your sleep on today, man? National Sleeping Day. Wow. Yes, we've got a national day. You gotta get your sleep today, man. Ooh. Go to sleep early. I got shows to watch. I'll be up. Yeah, me too. Catching up on Fargo, man. Yep. About to finish the second season. And it's like I said, well, I, it's going to get better. No, what's dope is like what you said, each season completely different. So yeah. it's like just jumps around. That's what's great. And it took the first me, like, two seasons are loosely connected. But yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I don't think I got there yet. I'm at like episode seven. Okay. So I don't see it yet, but probably in the next couple episodes. Right. But, um, the the first couple episodes of the second season. Actually, you know, like the first one. I'm like, ah. Wait a minute. You're on season two, right? Yeah, season two. Okay, so. Um, in season one, homeboy, his wife, her father used to be a cop, and he was now tending the burger stand. Right. Season two, that cop that you're following yes. is that guy. With the sick wife? Yeah. That's who that is? Remember that in season one, there's uh, the chick cop. Yeah. And she ends up marrying... That other cop. The other correct? cop, right? Well, that chick cop is daughter of... Oh, that's the dad? Yes, they go oh, backwards. Okay. So they're probably going to get into that soon. It's, cool. a, it's No, no. Oh. That, you're, you, if you had I paid attention... It? If you paid attention off the top... <sighs> yeah. Homeboy is Solverson. Like, you know, that's his, that's his name. That's his daughter that's in the first one. They Didn't tell realize that. They tell the one with his daughter in the first season, and then the father, who is like, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. I didn't know that was her pops. Yeah, that's her father. Yeah. It's so, good. see, the old guy, he's, he's, he's the one in the burger right. stand. He's right. the retired cop. Correct. And this is him in season two as a young. Oh, that's the dad young. Yeah, that's there you the dad. Go. Cool. Gotcha. Yeah, it's so good that's, how, that's how one and two are connected. Yeah. I like the characters. What is it? Gerharts? Is that the name? Yeah, the Gerharts. The kids, like, they just, they play the role so well. Man. Total dicks. They, yeah, total dicks. Just the look of them, like, the, the dress, that it was perfect. They nailed those characters. I was big time. I haven't found a series yet that I've really was been interested to watch. So I've been watching Car Chase on Pluto. <laughs> Car Chase? <laughs> what is that? Car Chase. I mean, is he's, it just he's, car chases? Is this car? I mean, he's telling you Fargo is. Bro, I kid you not, man. Right. This is a winner. Like, it's a winner. The writing is great. And every. I've only been two seasons, but there's good celebrities, like good stars in each one. Uh -huh. Like, there's a new set of stars. Uh, who's in, the, in season two? Um, I just think Bobo likes watching the random. Not Ray Romano. Who's the big dude? Uh, I know who you're talking you know, about. He's Ray. good. He's that did guy's very good. Well. Yeah, the tall dude from. Uh, Everybody loves Raymond. He's in that. Um, what's the mother's name? She's a big actress. The mom of the family. What you know who she yes, is? Yes, I know though. who yeah, she is. But like, a, but the, we know her. We've yeah, seen her in a dozen. Yep, things. she's an OG. And, and what is Fargo on? Is it on? It's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. Hulu. All right, it's great. Ba Brad Garrett is who you're right. talking about. There give a shot. It's oh, and the Indian from uh, the yeah. native from what's it called? Uh, Reservation. Dog? Yes, he's in it, but he plays just a gangster. He's great. Yeah. All right, I he's check great it out in that. because, uh, like I said, there's been car chase on Pluto. <laughs> I mean, they've been showing some right car chases. Okay, I'm gonna watch. <laughs> I'm gonna Check Pluto out. There. This is what you're watching, Bobo, right here. Car chase. Car chase, man. I'm telling you, man. Oh, they have so car chase. I tell you, I, I believe Damon seven. made this. Damon made this popular right here. Yeah, right. And they're like, I seen like two other shows copying our bro, Damon Heller, How of Smoke and Scan. Been He's been doing it longer than anybody, exactly. and they've all like bit his little steez, and now that you know, and with all the car chases that we have out here in L.A. alone, always. I mean, there's always a new one that you can... Oh, he had a good one popping the I other night. California's yeah. got to be one of, the, if not the most 
chases, car chases. Number one. Yeah, because of our freeways and highways. Go. Yep, we have those six, eight-lane highways. Like in New York, you have three on a major, maybe four if there's a um, an HOV. Like on LIE, Grand Central, those are three-lane highways here. Six mm -hmm. to eight lanes, so people are just out, you know. Yeah, yeah. Going we always it. have cheese. Yeah, I'm on. Hey, I want to take this time and apologize for my mix yesterday. What happened? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I didn't feel good about it. I don't know how they felt, but I didn't feel good about it because, like, where I started, I didn't really pay attention to my crate that I was in, and I noticed that I had a shitload of instrumentals when I was already like, I'd start one song and I'm meaning it meaning to mix it with this and, and do do like the live remixing that I've been doing of songs. Mm -hmm. And I started off and I didn't like bother to read the label on the song and each one I was fucking popping off was an instrumental. So I couldn't really do what I intended to do because there's no vocals on both the tracks. Right, right. So I, I got caught up in that like two, three times in there not paying attention to that it was mostly a lot of instrumentals in there. And, you know, like it kind of threw me off because, like, I meant to, like, mash vocal and instrumental together. I mean, I eventually got the momentum. It was just starting off. I was like, shit, there's were so you, many instrumentals were in Were you here. on a microdose? No. If I was on a microdose, I would have figured that out, like, yep. real fast. He's been to more, more together. But, I, you know, like, I think what happened was that, you know, um, bots... Mr. Hate Brisket, um, he brought over uh, some smash burgers with uh, with some Wagyu brisket on top of it, and maybe I was a little Wagyu drunk, son, <laughs> and you know, just okay. had the itis. I had the itis. I don't normally start the mix show with less. He usually starts it unless you know he unless he don't got to rush up out of here. Then he start. Then I start it. You know what I'm saying? And yesterday, um, I said I'll start it. But I rushed to it after having that delicious burger. You had two burgers? No, one. Oh, man, don't be putting words in my mouth. I'm just asking. <laughs> um, and what I did was I took the brisket off of the burger, and I ate the burger the way of the burger and ate the brisket separate because to me it's just too much too much between the buns, son. Um, which is great, though. Some people will have it both. I just like to take it off. Anyways... Um, yeah, I kind of rushed to the turntables because we were like, you know, 10 minutes behind and I did not pay attention to the goddamn crate. Today? Mm -hmm. Don't pay attention? Paying attention to the crate. Um, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to pop my Gunslingers 2 mixtape off for him today. Yep. Um, at, on the first, the first act of the mix, meaning the first half. Oh, and then I'm going to so flip a, you know, different set. Uh, second half hour unless one of the other guys shows up to take the other half hour oh. but if i mix in the hour first half is going to be gunslinger 2 um playing you these songs that we did so long ago uh featuring willie malo aka mellow man ace son doobie um and uh Demrick. so um you know get ready for that that's happening right after this show uh, on Twitch, be underscore real TV. If you're watching on Twitch and our uh, our second channel for the mix specifically, and our playlist, be real TV too. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Get down with us. Quit foxing around. Um, yeah, we invite you. Um, two guys were finally found uh, guilty in the murder of uh, rest in peace to legendary Jam Master J. Oh, good. Uh, apparently, one of them was his godson. Oh, right. Am I right on this, Beery? Yes. Oh God, that's terrible. One of them. Was Explain to us the story, what Beery, because what, what? What? I just got the headline. I don't really got the story, but it's him and and one other. Had to guy. set him up. It was on a deal, so he probably yeah. set him up on a deal and knew what was going to be there. Told him, "Hey, go grab it." That's disgusting. Well, it's good that the family has closure. Unfortunately, you know that it was a family member involved in that. That's that sucks, man. That's terrible. Uh, prayers to the family for for having to deal with that aspect of it now. Why do you? I mean, it took a real long time to come to this conclusion. As those people, no, that's how long these things take. They well, drag out for years. Well, no one wanted to say anything too for a long time. People were like, 
I, I would imagine a lot of people knew who it was, but they weren't going to say nothing because at the risk of maybe being under fire, losing your life too. Right. I mean, because if they took him out, who's to say they won't take you out? Uh, let me get that ashtray over there, Blaze. Please. Bring it. Um, but rest in peace to the legend. Yeah, that's it. He was literally just one of the best, and especially at that time, nobody was touching him. Yeah, Run DMC was it for a lot of us for it. a long time till till the different styles of of yep. hip hop started showing its showing up, and that was because of them, yep. because they totally flipped the style of what hip hop was before them. Yep, and uh, you know that's I think they allowed everybody to kind of be themselves and not be in this image of what the first guys were. And I think you know, like to me, it's not not controversial, I guess, uh, speculative maybe. But like what certain people consider like the start of hip hop, some of that to me is more like funk. And like when I listen to it, it's got some hip hop elements, but run DMC and people like that to me was the first like real hip hop genuine. Well, to us, right. Yeah. Uh, To us, they were like, you know, what our version of hip hop was. But realistically, the first version, even though it was funk and disc, disco uh yeah. influenced in terms of the musical background they right. are rapping over that was still hip-hop it was i it was I, just i guess like more like what you said more what we know today you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah you know what it is is that they were chasing the, the funk sound and the disco sound and when run dmc came with you know rick rubin at the helm they were sort of creating their own sound to what you know their representation of hip-hop was rather than Let's borrow from funk or disco. Right. We're going to do it from all these elements right here. And sometimes it was just a drum program. Yeah, that, that Run DMC documentary, I don't know if you guys have seen it. I didn't it. see it yet. I want it, to. It's, re- it's really good. Uh, he credit uh, Pete Rock really saving Run DMC because of Down With The King. True that. Down With that The King. That was such a classic. Bible. And, oh. and, and the thing about it is that, you know, is that change, you know, they they their wares were changing, you know, the clothes were changing, the sound and style of music was changing, and uh, it was a tricky time for them. And when Down With The King came out, that kind of gave them a new breath. Yeah, was that in. early or mid-90s? What was Probably that? mid-90s. Mid, right? Yeah. yeah. That was later on. That was yeah. later on. Song. Because they had like that, you know, that, you know, they were doing like that New Jack Swain right. kind of <clears> thing, <throat> the pause, that song. Yeah. You know, but down with the king was like that was more of the hip hop of hip-hop. right then yeah. instead of them sounding like Run DMC of old, because sometimes when you're at the top, you don't necessarily want to change what you're doing. You're trying to make everybody conform to you, but as you're at the top, people are creating new sounds and different things and getting other people excited. And now you might have to scoot over. I mean, there's room at the top for motherfuckers, but realistically. In hip hop, everybody wants to be king, right? And they were the first kings, really. You know what I mean? And so sometimes if you're not listening to the other things that are happening, your sound might fall behind because you're not evolving. You're doing that same shit every time. And I think Run DMC got caught up with that at some point. And that Pete Rock thing sort of flipped them into what the new era of hip hop and the style of beats that were being made and even uh, MC cadences, they just were different. And that song brought them in back into the fold for as long as they wanted to be. Did Pete Rock produce that song? Is yeah. It, oh, okay, he produced he that it. Song, yeah. Gotcha, yeah. He even flipped a verse. Oh, no. Because, yeah. I mean, Pete Rock, if you were getting a verse from him in that time, and I don't know when he stopped doing that, but, like, you know. He was he, using he, his own remixes. He was, well, he was right? always popping off a verse if he made the beat for you, <laughs> which was dope. Yeah. No other producer was doing that. I like the asking no, for it, but he just like blessed you with it. Oh like, yeah. I mean his his verse on the uh jump around remix. Yeah. Is dope. Yeah. You know I mean Salute to P Rock. Salute to Run DMC. CEO Smooth. Um Ja Rule is uh about to lose a lot of money what once again. Um he had a UK tour. Um, scheduled, and he claims that like 85% of the venues were sold. In other words, you know, they sold the tickets for it. And uh, Didn't have I guess space. the UK is not letting him in. What? 
for his like criminal stuff or I don't know, but hmm. that they're, they're not letting him in, so he has to cancel his European run and you know forfeit or lose whatever money that was there for him. It says Ja Rule was sentenced to two years in prison in 2010 after pleading guilty to attempted possession of a weapon mm. in connection with the 2007 arrest on gun and drug possession charges. Yeah, some of those uh, charges like that carry over to different countries. Like sure, you can't get it like Australia, Canada, no Canada. Way. You know, like Australia, a, DUI, a DUI here is a DUI in Canada. Yeah, but know, it's worse. But it's worse. Right. You know, so they, the thing carries over. So yeah, DUI shit. They, you're lucky if they let you in Canada. If you I got, got denied DUI. Canada and Australia. I couldn't get a visa from them. In neither one. That was years ago. Yeah. Neither one will let me. I was like, that sucks. It depends on what you got. What you got snapped for? Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, mine was and, drug stuff and, and shit like that. Realistically, there's a way that if you pay the fines and you do the embassy thing and you get all the proper. Um, paperwork to them so that they can assess what the fine is and then, you know, give you all the necessary paperwork that you need to submit to go in. Yeah. They, you know, like, chances are they'll let you go in because they're making money from you coming in. But, like, if you don't do any of the work, yeah, they'll make it mad and convenient for you. So what I wound up doing is I dealt with, like, it's almost like a travel agent, but it was someone who helps get visas and stuff in tough countries. And when she came back with it, she said, the only way myself, like for you guys, you have work. Yeah. If you have work, that's what they do. Like yeah. If I said, okay, I'm coming in to do this job, then they'll tell you how much it's going to cost. They're going to limit your days. Like, yeah, they're going to you tell have, you how many yep, days you got you, to complete that. You got that right. They want, they'll let you in this day, out that day. Within reason. Within anyway. reason. But because I had nothing but wanted to come for um, tourist reasons, completely denied. Couldn't pay, couldn't do nothing. But if I would have had work, that's exactly what they do. They charge you fines, and then they let you stay for a very short period. Once you're done, out. Yep. Yeah. And Australia, same thing. They're real tough, man. If you have certain charges, like, no, sir, you're out. And I really wanted to go to Australia. I've been to Canada multiple times, but that was before 2001. When you were in New York, you could just drive up, and right at the Montreal border, you just put your driver's license, no passport, in, come back the next day. Post 9-11, now it's passports, visas. But before that? You drove right in. Just like Mexico. Mexico used to just be a license. Driver's license, you went, you flew. Jamaica, like all those Caribbean islands, pre-9-11, you didn't need a passport. Hopefully this year I'll be able to get into Canada without any problems. Come on, Bobo, let's go. Is it off? Because it's been been a problem. I had to go in there with paperwork. They always put me (laughs) to the side. Hey, how about on the TSA pre-check? They're, like, talking about that they're they're not going to need your ID for that anymore, that it's going to be facial recognition. Oh, I don't doubt it. That would yeah. be great. Yeah. Same, yeah more convenient. same time. That's for sure. Mm. I mean, that would save time, but, you know, that just tells you hey, facial recognition is all over the place. That's how, they, that's how they do it with that clear thing at the airport. It's yeah. either facial recognition or your eyes. eyes yeah. Or your fingerprint. Or your finger I was going to do the clear, but I just they told me the TSA pre-check one's better than the clear because they have to have clear at that airport for it to work, and certain airports don't have clear. But TSA, the pre-check, they're to every airport. So that's True. why I didn't want him doing that one. Hey, guys, um, I didn't want to say this to put him on blast, but um, Bolton's girlfriend <laughs> got in a fight at uh, Venice Beach with multiple beachgoers. Which one's this chick today? Uh, this yeah, one here right she here. was. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was like, don't you be trying to fuck with Bolton. He's mine. We Is that chick in- naked? Yeah. yeah, we were inside my apartment having some fun, and Look, then this a- chick just started swinging the what little is that, bat at us. Like, what does she have there? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Pedro's trying to get it all on film right there. Hey, just, hold, <laughs> just slow down so I could get it for b I like time. this guy that just walks by casually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's going on in your hood. Crazy. Yeah. Bolton's girl, man. She's off the chain, guys. Yeah, yeah don't throw the stick at her. Now she's got it. <laughs> and why is she, <laughs> why is wow. she naked? She's just she's just messing around. She gotta be on a sick one. <laughs> She'd be naked <laughs> like that. Too. Oh! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> she wallowed on that one right there. <laughs> I love how oh. nobody's stopping if there's like a duel. A oh my god, duel. You it's a go duel. Close to that, dude? Oh, she now oh. she's got, she got a double. She's like, come on, bitch. Oh. Yeah, somebody yeah, should have. You want to do something now? I got both of them. Should have been putting on some music, <laughs> you know, like some action music. Good old Venice Beach. Good old yeah. Venice Maybe she's Beach. just sticking up for her man. 
Nate. Yeah, well, you. For you. <laughs> you're over here trying to trying to get down with all the chicks at the beach. Yeah, this lady right here was trying to hit on me, and yeah. my girl went crazy. <laughs> she went yeah, crazy. Yeah. So I'm taking your white boy, bitch. What are you going to do? I said, take that. She's marching. I feel like this is the norm in Venice Beach. It is. Yeah, <laughs> Venice. She got it thrown sure. at her. Now she got it. There's yeah. a lot of cracktivity in oh Venice. Oh, my God. Man. Lot, lots of cracktivity. Yeah, man, get your girl off the drugs, Bolton. <laughs> hey, has Venice Beach always had like cracktivities like this? Since like, I since moved the there. early nineties. Uh, since the yeah. I guess you could say there's been some activities there. There was a time when none of this happened. That was a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, man. Get control of your girl, dude. <laughs> Pedal down, baby. Yo, I don't talk you. to her tonight. Yeah, you're gonna have to have a conversation, buddy. Confine her, dude. <laughs> She's out there right now, dude. Hello. Get you know, naked trying to beat fight. people up while she's butt naked. I need to calm her out. Calm her down, my. You know. What uh, are you guys supposed to do in this situation? What? Well, what's our connection to these women? <laughs> That's what I want to know. That one of them are the girls. Stuff. Do we not know them? What? What if you do know the chicks? Which one do I know? The big, the one right here, this white lady. I'd be egging her on, be like, put that stick down and break oh, that little flucky thing. Beat her ass, girl. Man. Yeah, Relax. Blaze may not be the perfect per- person. No, you don't want to ask Blaze <laughs> who he's rooting for or what he would like to see. Break her down. Break her down. man. <laughs> Serious, her thigh weighs more than that girl. Beat that bitch. Sumo um, suplexer. Um, I, I want to say this because, you know, we at the at the chance of maybe forgetting to do this, uh, salute to Chich Marin. Um, he had he had an event popping off at the OG Cannabis Cafe last night. Uh, we attended. Those of us here at the table and uh, the, some of the guys in the Treehouse, um, or I think Dom, yeah. the one in the Treehouse, uh, Pedro, A. Tom, myself, um, and it was a cool event, man. They had great food in there. They did. They did. The vibe was dope, and it was like you know, hey, we're at the restaurant. We're having great food and we're smoking. It was great. That's my dream, man. Is that rest? That was awesome. Eating. It was great. It, what was really good is the, f- the quality of the food. Agreed. You know, the quality of the food was dope, and I got and we got to have dinner with Cheech. Yep. Yeah, that was good. It was dope. I mean, out of all the years I've known both of them, you know, like I've sat down with Tommy and and you know, had, we've smoked and we've done interviews and we've done gigs together and we've done you know sort of cheech and i've done certain things like that too but we got to have dinner with cheech break, you know bread, with him, yeah, break bread and that was it was fun that was awesome and he was very cool he's he one, is, a man. very nice guy yeah and like hearing some of the stories you know that like you would never think like we were talking about that whole thing that he, he was t- telling us about tommy playing you know in a mm-hmm. band that was signed to motown which is that blew a lot of us away because you don't really hear that all the time. Nope. Nobody asked them those sort of questions. It has to like sort of come out in a story. And to me, that was dope. And so, yeah, it was it was good. Uh Aton almost uh left out with the, uh out paying his part of the bill. Of course. Uh, oh, I thought it was free. My bad. Is that what happened? He said, Is it free? Is it comped? <laughs> Why, why would it be comped for Aton though? Said, when it's you know, a Cheech, was, when it's an event for Cheech, it wasn't comped for me. I, I, I said, I, I mean, it was. Know. Sorry, I said, I don't know. <laughs> Mine too. I tried to pay. <laughs> you know, I said, I don't know. You know, maybe word on the street is maybe it is. Yeah, salute, salute to uh, the people at the Cannabis Cafe. They did comp us, and that that was awesome. Yes. I didn't expect that. I just went to go support Cheech, yeah. and and just exactly. you know be there, and and uh, they were dope enough to uh compass and it was a great time man the vibe is absolutely dope yeah, man. and uh, the, like you said the food was good man i had the shrimp ceviche it was delicious and um a chicken sandwich that was really good i had some tots yeah you had truffle tots it was pretty good not only i had the turkey uh, some your tots some you ground have... turkey tacos they were mm-hmm. actually really good yeah i never they're, had a ground turkey taco they're good before. um try it you guys had shakes we did. How were the shakes? Oh man! And what did you and oh, what and what did you do this morning to work it off? Oh, I worked out. Oh, you did. I did. I, I burned calories. I did. You know oh, how I burned my I calories? Did. I'm gonna check. 
Look at that. I'm check, Bobo. Hey, that. hey, Siri, you mind your goddamn business, girl. God you want to know how I burn my calories? <laughs> On the way home, panicking not to shit myself. Sweating. Oh, no. <laughs> sweating. Like, no. Oh. On the way home, I probably burned <laughs> he like half that all milkshake. That shit. Oh, man. Concentrating on not shitting no, myself. No, you were hilarious. You're like, yo, it's a 50-50. I was like, yeah, yeah by the time I, I left, it was 70-30. All right, <laughs> Bobo, you got a little bit of a workout on. <laughs> I bit. see that. A little, see, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, my yeah, son man. got a good workout on. Good for you, son. Nice. You're sharing. The, you guys share information. Yes. You can see his stuff. That's Yes, no, yes. But it was, but it was uh, definitely good, good vibes, everything. Big ups to everybody that was uh, there in the whole cannabis cafe crew. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I could see a lot of cool things happening there. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, but that's a great, like, I tell you, they got a great situation. I hope more of those type of places pop up in different cities so people can really know what that's like. I mean... I would encourage you to travel to this place. And yeah. It's not that the meals are infused. The meals are no. not infused. I want you to know that off the top. There is no edibles there, but the food itself is great, and the ambiance is awesome because instead of cigarette smokers, it's weed smokers and people doing concentrates yeah. and people doing vapes and shit like That's that. The it's thing. Awesome. it's like, uh, you know, usually you go into a restaurant and you would hate to be engulfed in cigarette smoke, Correct. you know? But it wasn't such a bad thing being there, you know. Not at all. And I mean, it was smoky. It wasn't smoky. It was really aired out, really, really good. I mean, it didn't didn't matter. uh, Utah Hawk, um, if they serve breakfast, I'm a I'm a see if they do uh, eggs titties out. Mm. That's over easy, Bobo. We we decided to change the name over easy and say need two eggs titties out. To tags. Titties out. All right. Titties out. I do the over easy, but not the sunny side up. I can't have that gooey white shit. Well, yeah. What would be, yeah, I guess sunny side up would be titties out. Yeah, right? Yes, exactly. That's titties out. Over easy is a little. It's covered. The titties got a bra. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Titties with a bra. That's over easy. And (laughs) titties out is. Sunny over side reason. up. <laughs> it's sunny the side sunny up side up, yeah. which Bobo has none of. He no, none of that. He don't want no titties out. He don't want no. Um, no, I want my titties covered, and I'll yeah. go even over medium because sometimes when you go over easy, there's still too much that that albumin shit, and like, <laughs> just looks like egg nut. Can't do it. Wow, the yeah. way you make it sound. That's horrible. why it, that's how it sounds to me. That's uh, I, I think it's all in your mind. He said <laughs> egg nut. Yeah, it's egg, egg nut. nut. <laughs> no, no, doesn't work nah. for me. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Yeah, man, that's why I cook it more. That's it. Just <laughs> over medium. But if they open, I'll tell you what, if they open for breakfast, they could have wake and bake breakfast. Ooh, true that. That would be dope. Do they need to have me Instead be of the, like a brunch, the like the a wake idea and bake. guy down there, I'll totally. Okay, have your wake and bake breakfast here at the OG Cannabis Cafe. That's like oh, literally so. the brunch version of weed. You know, instead yeah. of alcohol, you go there and have some good food. Have some espresso nice. and and some hash holes at the same time. Just wrap it up. Poor man speedball. Let's go. It. Up and down. Love it. Yeah, we, uh, hey, you passed me a hash hole last night. That was... Hell yeah. That was a pretty significant one, mine. Yeah. I'll tell always, you that. The good ones, always. What's cool about that place is, although they don't have the, the, the alcohol inside with the cannabis, there is a bar area that you can... Uh, yeah, so I, I didn't see it, but I guess they did like what the Woods did, separate, separate okay. address, right? Because yeah. you have to, like, like at the Woods, they have the same setup, so they have... Of course, Psycho Leasy found this area. <laughs> of course, instantly. He said, yo, he so they got the alcohol. I yeah, said, but they won't let you mix it, so you have to have it. You different. can't have it in the air, and then yeah. he went to go ahead and... Got to do just that. Yeah, now nah, yeah. I have in here. Oh, it's a, it's a dope location, though, man. My yeah. favorite shout out to Les was when he walked over to Cheech. Cheech, I guess Cheech had forgot. You know, he was just on the show with him. He's like, "Hey, Cheech," and he was like, "Yeah, what's your name?" He's like, "They call me Psycho," and he like lifted his arms up. He's like, "They call me Psycho," like he was stepping to him. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, Les, man. Oh man, it's so classic, bro. I love him. That's crazy. He don't. He stays. Less character, 24-7, 365. Oh, that's, that's real life right it there. It don't change, that's right. That's real life. Yeah, New York. He killed me with that. <laughs> yeah. Psycho. That's right. <laughs> I can Love imagine that. I can, yeah. I can see that. With the arms up, literally. They call me psycho. <laughs> 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 Fucking love it. 
Yeah. So authentic. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what else was there? Um, I was trying to remember something that I was watching last night that I was going to bring up to you guys. Man. How about Stank Ass's report this morning? Oh, yeah. What'd that thing. Uh, Stank Ass LA. Uh, KTLA was putting out a news report how news studies with that cannabis relating to heart disease and all this stuff. I'm like, come on. You know what's true? Get out of here it's, with that. It's, first of all, it's such bullshit because, number one, heart disease is basically the number one cause of death. It's either cancer or heart disease that kills the number one amount of people. So most people already have heart problems, underlying heart problems. That's number one. So you can't say that it was caused from that end. A lot of these studies are showing that um, the cholesterol medicine and all the stuff that they're giving you, and especially now, like, let's say 30 years ago, your numbers had to be a certain level before they put you on that medication. Now those, those levels like half. So people are going on medications quicker and they're noticing it's like, it's, a way, it's, a, it's like almost like a pharmaceutical scam. It's like they're getting you on the medication earlier, then it has side effects that make you sick and do all this crap. So, you know, to say that weed is causing that, that's bullshit. There's that a million other things that are Total bullshit. It. That's, it's their, that's their way of like- Propaganda. Propaganda so that people stay using the pharmaceuticals. Yep. It's such bullshit. All that shit. Um, yeah. Bumba clot. Right. Hey, Taylor. Clot. Mm. Mm. I still watch him. You all right, Bobo? Are you yeah, stuck? I, I still watch him. I mean, I like, you know, I like a couple of them. Like uh, Mark Krisky. He's like an OG. Yeah, he's from Canada. Yeah, I like him. He's always he's always funny. He can talk a little bit of madness on. Oh man, yeah. yeah, they were talking some crazy shit. Pedro would have loved it this morning because they they were um, showing a a thing about um, Miley Cyrus, mm. um, and That's she ha- she had her Tina Turner on, mm. but like the skimpy little outfit. Uh, you know, Pedro was infatuated with Miley for a second, based yeah, off of baby. The, until she that talks like this. I don't think that I don't think Pedro cares about that. You know what I'm saying? He'll Bring it. take Miley, you know, Pedro. deep voice and all. Pedro. <laughs> Pedro. In your dreams, yeah. Pedro. Oh, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she quite sounds like that, Bobo, but Spank that was pretty me, good. Pedro. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Stop it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Stop Damn, it. She needs Bobo. some titties, down, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to stop it. Hey, guys. That that was over the line. <laughs> Did you know? In 1978, on this day, uh, Eli from Living Legends was born. Okay. Word. Salute. Happy birthday. <laughs> Somebody put Zool saying she looks like from Ghostbusters. Oh, What's come on. Name? We're not is doing that. Is that Sigourney? That. No. Who Stop. played it? Yeah, Sigourney was Weaver Sigourney was in Weaver. Ghostbusters. That's who they said she looked like. Oh, right my there. God. <laughs> Did you know, in 1986, on this day, George Michael announced that Wham! was splitting up. All the little girls cried this day. <laughs> no more Wham! Yeah. No, there's no more Wham! Saw that documentary? I did. Some, well, did I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't watch. I intended to, but I didn't. Oh, rest in peace, George Michael. Yeah, so, he was great. He was and great. He, it was sad. You know, I remember it, it wasn't funny, but I remember when I heard, you know, like, that he came out. I was like, was he ever in? I was like, if you ever <laughs> listened to the words and watched the videos, you didn't really need him to come out. I mean, he was great, but to me, that was like, yeah, we really didn't need that. Just listen to the yeah, songs. Well, you know, it is what it is. But he was great. Did you know? And on this day, on, in 2008, Buddy Miles, drummer for Jimi Hendrix, the Delphonics, Stevie Wonder, and many more passed away. Lost a legend. Yeah. He was dope. Yeah. He was very dope. Yeah. I saw him live. Uh, I went with my brother. He took me years back. Played this little jazz club in uh, Mosa Beach. And we waited for like 45 minutes. The band was on stage. And nobody miles. It takes a sweet ass time. Waiting, and then all of a sudden, opens up the front door of the, of the club, walks in through the front, <laughs> right past the tickets. 
All right, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And he got back on the drum set, got on the drum set, and then proceeded to rip it. Excellent. Wow. So he walked through the front door. The front door. And announced that he was here. I'm here. Hello. And then. He, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's, a, that's an entrance. I mean, that's after that's 45 a, minutes of people waiting in his band. This band waiting, too. They're just up on stage. And why not come through the back door and make your appearance on the stage? Because if you do that, that 45 minutes people waited, it's worth it. They're like, did you see the entrance he made? I ain't never seen no. Because I ain't never heard of an artist doing that. How many people you know is going to come through the front door? I feel like I need to do that. But I ain't gonna. <laughs> Unless we playing at like the Roxy, then I could do that. You know what I'm saying? I come in through the front door. Yo! I'm here! I'm here! How's your <laughs> Y'all split out the way so I could get to the stage. Make a buddy guy entrance. It's pretty grand if you think about it. All he needed was some of them more. Uh, um, uh, monarchy um, proclamation horns. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> Buddy guy has arrived. Good to have a horn die with you. Literally. Well, that's, the, that's for the horses to race. We, <laughs> yeah. Wrong ones. Ro royalty um, <laughs> attention horns, I think, are a little bit different. <laughs> attention horns. Horns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tension horns. Both. Yeah. yeah. They're a little different. <laughs> horns with horns. <laughs> horns with horns. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me, man. <coughs> um, look, if you haven't taken the time to smash the like yet, do us the favor. Smash it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Get down with us. Uh, share the show out. Let your friends know. Um, you know, you know the drill. Those of you that uh, have been a part of this since day one, but to all y'all new folks, you know what I mean. Share it out. Let your peoples know. If you stumbled upon this, you know what I mean. Consider this like the best joint, and you want to share it with your friends so they can experience it. The Dr. Green Thumb Show. You know it. All right. So, uh, yes. Help us out. And, and once again, there's a mix after this on Twitch and Be Real TV, too. And if you're a member of our home site, um, you can watch the mix and uh, check out this show from that site. And also, you know, take advantage of the merch on that site. Um, we got some cool shit popping. We got a new uh, shirt design going to be unveiled pretty soon. A Dr. Green Thumb shirt, if you will. Um, you're going to love it. But uh, these are some of the pieces that are available on the website now. So uh, take advantage. Okay. Get Man. down with it. Man, uh, RIP to Richard Lewis. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just heard that. I'm like, damn. He was dope, man. He was really funny. Yeah. And he's been on, you know, Curb Your Enthusiasm the last, since it came. And yeah. he was just, uh, Rara was a like, gay. Yeah, he was just yeah. in the last episode. And I didn't see yeah, he was dope. His stand up, yeah. all that stuff. You could tell in his last few TV appearances that, you know. They'd said he had uh, Parkinson's for years yeah. and he wasn't telling anyone. So he's been fighting Parkinson's like quietly for years before. He, but he died of a heart attack, it said. Mm. It's a heart attack. Put down a lot of great work. Yeah, definitely. Hilarious. Yes, sir. And it's the delivery. I like the, like the dry delivery with him. Yeah. yeah. It was good. It, it always seemed like his bit was, it was that he was always in a state of anxiety. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like his, 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 his like cadence. If the, I don't know if I could, if that's the best description, but it always seemed like it was like he was in anxiety thinking about what he was like as part of the bit, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, he had great comedic timing too. You know, to be able to do it like that and 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 portray that, like with that anxiety kind of kind of thing. Did you like Norm Macdonald's delivery? His um, type of delivery, like at times I yeah, did, yeah. and at times I thought it was just too goddamn dry, and it yeah. wasn't that funny. Got like it. I know, like when he was doing um, the the. The desk at Saturday Night Live. There was people who thought he was great, and a lot of people who were like, 
they they didn't really get his style of humor for the desk. Got you. You know, but when you right. look at some of it now, it's actually funny. It's just that it was he had a different I like kind of timing, yeah. yeah. And it was some of the things he said just were ridiculous. So yeah, he'd cross that line. Oh yeah, he was hilarious. You just had to get what exactly. his shit was. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you his kind of comedy was like always just like pretending to tell a straight story. Yeah, you know? like it was like storytelling that always went somewhere. You knew it was going somewhere. Yeah, rest in peace to Norm Macdonald. Yeah, old. I I was one of the ones that like sometimes didn't get what he was doing on the desk. I didn't see enough of those. I mean, yeah. yeah, just like more stand up stuff and or even just being on like, you know, Jay Leno's and things like that. He always he always made me laugh when he'd be on a talk show especially. Yeah, some people just yeah. didn't know where to laugh or if yeah. they should laugh if or they're offended. And if it, or or no, if they're like sometimes they just didn't get it. True. They're like trying to like process it. He's waiting for the laugh and sometimes it doesn't come. But like on his own shit, his stand up and some of the movies he's yeah. done, he was hilarious yeah one of the things that what was the joke he says uh yeah my wife was in a coma he was like it wasn't looking good doctor came over me and said look we've tried everything he goes but there's one thing people have told me that works and you know it's like a last resort but oral sex and he was like oh god what are you telling me he was like you know what i'll give it a shot he was he's like i walk in and he's like i come back out five minutes later he said doc she's just choking (laughs) <laughs> and I was dying. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Obviously, too, who didn't get it? He was supposed to be doing it to her. Yeah, <laughs> it's too good. I was like, "Doc, I don't send. She's just joking." I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> well done. <laughs> too good. Oh, like, he had some pretty yeah, complex jokes. Yeah, I like those sound of jokes. Said like, the more you think about it, like it kind of gets funnier. Yeah, you really yeah. put it together. Those are the type of jokes he had. Yeah. yeah. Right, and in <laughs> in a in a certain place like a comedy club, it lands in the time it's supposed to land. Yeah, and everybody like gets it and starts laughing. On the Saturday Night Live desk, it sort of has to go fast. Yeah, yep. And, and sometimes those those jokes did go over that fast because he was very slow and yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, he had complex <laughs> ass jokes, man. Yeah. Keep reading uh, rumors that Norm Macdonald threw 60K into the ocean to try to quit gambling. What? How does that help you quit gambling? He had such a gambling addiction, so he just tossed his 60,000 into the ocean. Oh, my God. That doesn't make That doesn't nah, sound, that nah, doesn't sound smart at all, man. I'm sorry, Norm. Sorry, Norm. Uh, now let's get into this while we <laughs> process that. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ariana from Dr. Green Thumbs LEX. We're located at 5494 West Centinella Avenue. That's just 10 minutes away from the airport. Uh, we're going to be here every day from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., so come check us out. Just so you know, for first-time patients, we do 30% off. But we also have uh, daily deals as well as rewards. So you guys, be sure to come check us out. Hope to see you guys soon, and back to you guys at the studio. Check out our Dr. Green Thumb locations in California. All right, um, now let's um, check these submissions. Submissions, 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 submissions. Big shout to Snacks. He needs to uh, put on some different clothes. He's kind of been wearing the same stuff for the past couple weeks. Dirty mofo. Looking shabby. Man, LAFC. He's just just partying, bro. Partying his money away. We got a Bart's Barbecue. Big shout to him yesterday for the Wagyu Smash Burgers with brisket on top. That's a lot of cholesterol. Yeah, that's a heart attack. Tasty one, though. Excellent. A burger for the... For the heart, shot to the heart burger. There you go. Is that it's delicious food? though, man. Filled with rage and made with rage. Yeah. Made with rage. Hate. You should see him when he smashes that patty. The world's famous hate brisket. <laughs> That's a theme song on the P. Diddy song. You can hate me now. You could duck, duck, duck. You could taste that. Love that song. You could taste that hate. <laughs> 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 
We got Big 40 saying, I won't call it healthy, but I'll call it a healthier version of spaghetti. Let's Low go. sodium everything with the sauce components and ground turkey That's over right. spaghetti squash. That's what I make my tur- my spaghetti with when I make it. It's Mm-mm. with the turkey. Bring Wife it. does it too. We don't use the, the ground beef anymore. We use When turkey. did you make Bring spaghetti it. for the family? <laughs> it's been a while. Damn, even the family don't get enough. No, nah, I don't do that. I could, but like, <laughs> damn, uh, you know, like I get like Bart, I, I get in the bad mood when I'm cooking. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I know I'm good at it, but God damn it. Wow. And you know, like, I'd rather not feel like, why am I doing this? If I, you know, if I had a couple drinks beforehand and I was like, got the smiles up. Then I'd probably have a good time doing it. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to make this good. But I don't want to have to drink to feel good about cooking. Nah, man. I actually love it, man. Like, I'll spend five, six hours prepping food. And so we are because I have no patience for things unless I really like it. But if I really like it, I spend a whole day doing it. And I enjoy each part of it. It's crazy. I just, you know, I had enough time doing it in my 30s that, like, I don't want to do it <laughs> man you used to love it i used to but yeah, i don't, used uh, to love it though. yo <laughs> i have to be in the mood for it now i can't just just i don't have the love for it like this guy does you know yeah. what i'm saying is anybody down to come over and eat some spaghetti because for me it's the prep work it's a lot it is and after you know coming from here go home and trying to do all that shit man i don't i, ain't I can sure. feel the <laughs> <laughs> the rage coming out for you. Just, no rage, just uh, I ain't gonna do it to myself, man. Yeah, yeah you gotta. Only when I want to, I will, but like, yeah. And I forgot to show this. Bart sent this in. We got a mac and cheese topped um, half Ooh. pound smoked burger with brisket. Oh my God. Cholesterol! But it probably tastes good. Half pound mm. patty with brisket and mac and cheese? That's what he's saying. God oh, damn. I would take the brisket God. out. <laughs> God and- Damn, and dude. leave a little bit of the macaroni and cheese on top just to, like, you know, have that. But I would totally be pulling the brisket out. What does he suggest you do after you eat that burger? A lot of salad. Go to the bathroom and stay there. I mean, he's got a lot of salad with hair. oil and vinegar and, you know. Psh, he has take... not once brought a salad. Look, when you eat that, <laughs> after that, you need to take a 20-minute walk. You don't even bring lettuce for Christ's sake. But, but, but eat a salad after this. <laughs> I mean, maybe. When that's... I got home. I ate a big ass salad, son. <laughs> well, maybe that's what he should the do. Big you salad. Know? He's gonna bring like a smash burger, then a side. He ain't salad. trying to bring you no vegetables or greens. He ain't, hell no, nah, I'm bringing the meats. He put the side salad in the smoker and say, "Here you go." All right, just smoke your <laughs> salad. Smoke uh, salad. Smoke salad. Nah, <laughs> smoke your salad. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Smoke man. vinaigrette. <laughs> Smoked vinaigrette. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We got EB saying, this is my Res Pac-Man breakfast, and I put it on toast. <laughs> saying, got fried bologna, fried egg, and uh, got the yolk busted just for Bobo. Bust yolk. All right. Nice, Dan. He's like, you also got to put on that government cheese. All right. Government. 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 That no melt. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> it's it's going to take a half hour to melt. Yeah, no <laughs> melt. And it doesn't melt, right? Oh, like, man. if you go to burn it, too, it's if crazy. You can put sparks. it on broil. And it actually it, sparks. I mean. If you light it, it'll start, like, <laughs> sparking. It's crazy. Mm. We got Lord Nikon having some uh, steak with his sweet potatoes. There you go. Okay. okay you just mash them up there. Yeah. Some, what, sour cream, maybe? Butter. Is that butter? Oh, it's yeah. butter. Okay, yeah. It's butter, baby. It's a lot of potato, right? Yeah, it is a lot your, of potato. Your steak to potato ratio is all. <laughs> yeah, it's that, yeah <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> True. <laughs> Biggest steak, less not potato. balanced. Well, there. what it looks like is he split it in half. He did. He yeah. smushed it out. But I'm just saying. But it looks, yeah. Yes. <laughs> your ratio is a little off there. But hey, maybe loves it that way. We got Smokestack Mac. He's uh, munching on Mr. Beats, Mr. Beast's <laughs> D's nuts bars. You're literally <laughs> chewing on D's nuts. Wow. I hear he has really good chocolate. Chocolate is pretty good. Take a bite of these nuts. <laughs> uh, only seven ingredients. And next up in here, we got Tap Out. He's showing off some cheesy eggs. 
And then, um, let's see, cheesy eggs with uh, pork chop, pork chop bologna, Costco spring rolls with cream cheese and organic strawberry jelly for dessert. Okay. He said pork chop bologna? That is the weirdest fucking combination. So zoom into food. that plate. Look at what's going on. We got eggs, and I don't know what a pork chop bologna is. That's it right yeah, there. Yeah, with egg rolls. Like, what in the hell are we yeah. in this place? That's a hell of a combo it there. It sure is, that. man. Man, that's crazy. It's two. on, you know, it's on two of the small plates, though, so yeah. it does, doesn't it, appear It's just the things like. that he mixed. It is, a, it is quite a mix. Right. And you need a bidet after that. <laughs> you need a salad. <laughs> Three ply. <laughs> <laughs> Straight flush. Yeah, he was just like, you know what? Whatever's in my refrigerator, we're gonna make that tonight. Yeah. We're gonna make this breakfast today. And breakfast doesn't have to be conventional. You can do whatever for breakfast. <laughs> yep, three ply breakfast. You know that doodle finger. That'd be the one that the, that that'd be a a, a a a name for an item on the menu. The three, three ply, ply breakfast. <laughs> yeah. You don't need three they plies out this breakfast Bell. right hey. here. Three ply Taco Pell number ten is the three ply. I'll Let me have two eggs chi- with titties out and the chili, <laughs> the breakfast chili with uh, <laughs> with a steak. <laughs> All right. We got Cedric up in here saying it's February and it's seventy five degrees in Chicago yesterday. Mm, crazy. He's saying taking these ancient dogs for a walk before it gets cold again. I'm right. How's it going? We got Mike Phillips up in here saying, just found out Big Al from Blood In, Blood Out passed away last week. I didn't know. Rest in peace, Big Al. Yeah, man. A.K.A. the Salty Finger. That's Pedro's favorite character in Blood In, Blood Out. He's always quoting him. Not in your, <laughs> not in your dreams, Pedro. Not in your dreams. We got Anatomic saying, just wanted to see what y'all thought of my mashup design of Cypress Hill and Savage Opress from Star Wars Universe. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a nice little... Awesome. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of dope. It is cool with like the... Uh, the lightsabers. Lightsabers coming out. The Sith life, life sa- lightsabers. It's like Jeez. futuristic. Yeah. Ray says simple use of colors. Oppress kill. That's dope. And next up in here, we got Skywalker smoking on some triple cheese. What do you guys think of the joint? Some TC. Uh, Needs work. A couple of ding-dangs in there, but you know, hey, it's going to smoke phenomenally. What would you rate this? He didn't ask. He didn't ask. Why are you doing it's, that? It's been a minute, though. We haven't had a joint rating in a minute. I'd give this a four. Number four. A lot of too dance. Bad. See, but this is how you discourage people, Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> what would you give this? No, Show me learning. a joint you rolled. I want to see it. <laughs> you, can do, you can go to uh, Growing with Green Thumb on Reddit. Check oh, it out. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I've seen it. And we got a uh, herbal up in here saying, "Yo, this is for Bobo on Tuesday movie night, Vice Squad. You guys should check this out." Oh my God, it looks horrible off top. Vice Squad, huh? Interesting. Look at the guy's name, Wings Hauser. <laughs> Wings. Gary, Gary Swanson. Gary Gua- Swanson. Swanson. Season Hubley. Look at the name, Season Hubley. Right? Yeah, Who has a name? Terrible. And Wings Hauser, directed by Gary Sherman. Wow. These are some names for your ass. Vice like Squad. A D movie. Wings Hauser. How many movies has Wing, Wings Hauser done? What is it? On the Street? The Real Trick. It's is Season Hubley. Okay. Gary Swanson, he's probably did a couple B movies. Yeah, well, we'll, well, we'll check this out and give it a little quick uh, previewing for uh, unleashing it to everybody. Oh, boy. I was going to say, here's Wings Hauser right here. Oh, yeah, Wings Hauser. Oh, good old WH. <laughs> you know, Wings. That was <laughs> his name, one. huh? Yep. <laughs> what a name. I remember that guy. He's been in a lot of, lot of stuff. Wings. B-movies, mostly. Mm-hmm. Did you name your kid oh, Wings? Shit, no. Harvard? Someone did. Someone did. 
Ray says, oh, shit, he was on Rubber. Hmm. Must be a good movie. Oh, is that the killer tire? Yep. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a killer tire. Oh, that's wow. a B-movie for you. You should yeah. watch that. <laughs> Rubber. <coughs> Rubber. <laughs> All right, next up in here, let's see. We got a Brandon up here, the UPS man. Um, when people don't clean our UPS trucks, this is what I write on there. I identify as clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got you. We got Smokestack Mac asking Bolton, is this true? He's saying people in Minnesota say uh, duck, duck, gray duck instead of duck, duck, goose. Yes, that is true. No. No, that's serious. Growing up, we always said duck, duck, gray duck. Whenever I heard someone say duck, duck, goose, I was like, what the hell are you saying? Have you ever even heard of gray duck? No. Right? Wow, I guess it may be just only Minnesota. What is that, like snap back? Minnesota. Yeah. Real fact. <clears throat> yeah, yeah when I heard duck, duck, goose the first time, like, it threw me off. I was like, oh, wait. Wow. People Never don't heard. say duck, duck, gray duck. That's crazy. Duck, <laughs> duck, gray duck. Wow. Damn. No, yeah, different. Bolton, did you watch Fargo at all? You know a lot of Um, I am on season two, episode one right now. Okay, I'm on like season two, episode seven. But you see those are all your people. Almost all of it's in Minnesota. <laughs> and the, but and they North got Dakota. The heavy, yeah, they got the heavy accents, though, all of them. Yeah. And some South Dakota. Yep. Like the first one. Oh, yeah, Sioux, Sioux Falls. Falls. Yeah. Yep. All right. The uh, the one guy, uh, Lester Nygaard, that guy's like a savage <laughs> at the end of the show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he sure is. That was great. He started out just getting beat up by the world. Yeah. Takes everything into his own hands. Yep. <laughs> but no, he's kind of an idiot. He's oh, yeah. Definitely an idiot. <laughs> Straight up. Not kind of. He is an idiot. All right, next in here, we got Midget Mike with a little AI art. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Snacks? Yeah. That, Snacks that's an falling eagle. out. That's an eagle, though. That is an eagle. It's not a hawk. It's not, yeah. a, <laughs> chop him up, it's not a hawk. No, that's it's not a hawk. It's not a hawk. It's an eagle. E -E. It needs to be a hawk. Ethan. Not a falcon. That's pretty cool. Take some of those Scooby snacks. Scooby was a stoner dog. They all were, bro. They all were. Shaggy was roasted all the time. Come on. They were all stoner. Smoke. That's pretty dope. Yeah, man. I always thought those guys were like high on acid because they're always just seeing the monsters. They probably were. Running was, away from them. The years it was written and they were all hippies for sure. They definitely had subliminal things like that. All the time. Big time. We got Chev up in here saying, hilarious story about the edibles with DJ Red Maddock and Eric Bobo. Uh, talking of edibles, I got these. They're 25 milligrams per piece. Should I space them out or should I have them all in one go? Oh. Wait, are those uh, weed or gummies? I mean, uh, mushrooms. What weed gummies. Oh. The 25 milligrams? Yep. You only got a buck? Yeah, go for it. It's a buck and a quarter. Yeah, you have can a party. Bring it. Have a party. But, by the way, if you've never taken them, that's going to cause bad anxiety. So, like, if you've not taken edibles, start with one. Real talk. But if not, go right. for the whole thing. And then we got a Chev up in here saying this would be the best cinema ever. Watching Jaws outside on the lake. Hell no. Well, on a lake, I'll do that, but not in the ocean. Oh, no watching way. Jaws and like shark infested like lake. <laughs> it's the way to go. I for two hours. <laughs> Did, oh my God. True that. Lake better be warm. It'd be pretty cool. Fucking balls would be in my stomach sitting in that cold ass water. No <laughs> way. <laughs> like, get out of there, you bastards. Get, <laughs> get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Scolding your own balls. Yeah. Get out of there. <laughs> exactly. I do yell at them. No business being in there. We got Luis saying, uh, receive this as a tip for being an Uber driver. Got a pre rolled joint. Uber driver. Smoke. Good tip. Acceptable. Mm hmm. Bring it. And we got Smokesack Mackie saying, Jurassic Park has many Easter eggs from the Goonies. Wearing the same shirt. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Hmm. You guys think that's part of an Easter egg, or do you guys think that was just kind of a coincidence right there? Oh, I'm not I mean, sure. It seems like it's the same character on both sides, right? So it could be, if you really want to start to say that that's him as a kid before he went to Jurassic Park and started working on that they're all newman they're all newman 
Or they're just playing off those movies. I mean, who knows? I love the Goonies. That's a good movie. <laughs> and we got Ginger Life up in here uh, having a little joint and taking a little selfie. Shout to you guys. Well, all right. We got Tennessee Jed smoking on some gushers and papaya grown by him. Gushers. Go, 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 go. Gushers. Gushers. Nice. It's all right. See a better picture, maybe. <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. first of all, like the colors. I don't know if that's your filter or. Overexposed. Yeah, exa- there you go. Well, it looks overexposed, so it could be better, but yeah. They're all very small and whatever, but doesn't mean they're not good. There's some great strains that just never get big, but they taste real good. And if it's, you got that papaya in there, it should taste good. We got GME Shoes saying, shout out to my husband. He uh, recycles old Nikes, and he makes them into new trainers. Hey, okay. New trainers. Hmm. Awesome. They do, like, extended or something? can't see it as it goes. Oh. It goes in the... Mm-hmm. Are those higher up or no? That's stock. Old Jordans? Like, yeah, the retro, what are those? Retro threes or something like that? The ones? So is he refitting them or something? I can't tell. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cool. It's different. All right. Awesome. And this next one's pretty funny. We got Megan up in here. She made a little Bart's barbecue song. Oh, let's boy. Let's, let's have it. So, I got, I got, uh, so, I got, I got chicken thighs, tri tip, I got spaghetti noodles, rice, I got chocolate uh, onions, pinto beans, I got pork loin, butter, eggs, <laughs> I got vegetables, broccoli, onions, I got bell peppers, <laughs> parsley, I got potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, I got jack cheese, and black bean. <laughs> oh my god. I got. <laughs> Oh my god. That was, good name. <laughs> that was too good. That's the name of that song. I, I got, got. <laughs> Well done. Oh. oh, that was good. We got Megan also with the uh, scuffy shoes song. Get this. That's scuffy shoes. That's for Jeffro right there. Yep. Scuffy. That's got the shoes. Scuffy. That's got the shoes. That's got the shoes. That's you. Scuffy. We'll entitle that Scuffy. The Jeffro song. <laughs> All right, me. What does he like? Scuffle up, I guess. <laughs> it's just an end, you know, joke we have going about his Jordans, mm. his scuffy Jordans, you know what I'm saying? I got. <laughs> I got. I got. <laughs> I think you still, it, that's still resonating with yeah, you. Yeah, that, that's that's the hit right there. That's, I got. I got. Oh, like my scuffy God. Scuffy the Vampire Slayer. I mean, I could just hear Bart's like doing this live. I would love to hear him. I got you know what? He should do that live on the, <laughs> no, uh, during the mix. You know what I mean? <laughs> Could you imagine him on the mic? I got. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> All right. We got Smokestack Mac. He's saying two hours before I leave work, I take a little break and I go straight to the SHO. Oh, okay. There you go, Mac. Right. Champion with his McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Mac with his McDonald's. That a boy. Two hours before work, huh? Before he leaves work. <laughs> before he leaves work. So it hits him right when he leaves. And I believe those are mine, too. Welcome to the Mac show, yeah. son. Shout out to you, Mac. Go, oh, baby. We got Tennessee Jed up in here. He's uh, having some cereal milk full spectrum melt rosin. Okay. 
Cereal melt. Cereal milk, full melt. Oh. Uh, yeah. Which, that would be hash, oh. bro. If you yeah, say full huh. melt, that's a hash. Full melt. Not a rosin, yeah. Oh, boy. Just so you know. Or a term full melt is Look at that. for hash. And if it is full melt, it's not full melt. I can see all the shit sticking to it. Is it okay that it's all brown? No, he went in way he too chazzed hot. He chazzed up. Who Way too hot. Right. Like a hot tab is one thing, but that's scalding was what he did. <laughs> yeah. scalding. He gave himself the real punishment. Yeah, he likes it hot because that's hot, bro. I do kind of like the dabs, though, a little hotter. So do I. I go, but well, like to me, hot is about 620. That looks like. Close to seven undo right there, bro. That turned black instantly. That's gross. Mm. Well, you know what it's bolting like? What I'll do is I'll go in on the first one at like 450 to 500 just so I could taste it, and then the next one let it rip. So one for flavor, one for actually getting that punch in the face that you need. Oh, boy. Yeah. And then next up in here, we got Mr. Burn One. He's showing off his old cell phone with the uh, old Cypress Hill ringtone. Ringtones, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. It's awesome. Hey, I just want to say this. We were talking about um a story yesterday, real quick. Um you could take it off this image. Totally my bad. <laughs> We were talking about a story yesterday of, of the joint that sits on the front of the table, how, like, I shot it to, I think, Steph Tone, and it fell, and it stood up like this. And because of that, no one smoked it, and we put it at the front of the table in the way that it landed. Just before the show started, I tossed Bobo a joint to his, to his uh, you know, like I always do. And it landed in the ashtray perfectly on oh, the holder picture. pointing at Bobo. Yeah. I we both that. watched it happen. It was. Yeah. It could be the old man at work again. Awesome. It was right there. It was like amazing. Because what are the chances that I hit that shot? That was it. And it landed literally in the slot where it's. Yeah, right the there in the slot. Three slot. No, there's only two slots on there. And two slots. And it up. landed perfectly balanced yep. on the slot. Right. It wasn't teeter tottering. It, it was wasn't right like there. it landed in the ashtray like this with, you know, like up end at the slot and mm -hmm. it going in. No, it was laying on damn thing. Yeah. It was a good throw. It was. So that's the joint I lit up. Yeah, that's the joint you lit up. That was a good one, right? Yeah. Excellent. Extra special. But you know, I only brought it up because I saw the, the edge of the table and that I thought to bring that story up. It was pretty crazy. It's too bad we didn't have that on film because that was like pretty crazy. All right, next. It's your boy AD, man, right here at the doctor. Thumb show the highest motherfucking show in the world. You better believe that shit. What up, y'all? You know who it is. It's your man, Freeway Ricky Ross. Yo, what's up? Pseudo Zane, AK Diego. What's up? It's Banker Hayden. I'm at B Real TV. Yo, what up, everyone? It's Brian T. City. Shout out to B Real TV. Thanks for having us. Shout out to B Real TV. It's first smoke of the day. Pack Odds Blackleaf. We're here at B Real TV. About to roll up. It was cracking this home with Little Rob right here on the Dr. Green Thumb show. The highest show in the world, homeboy. Yeah. It's so goddamn high over here. My. Oh, uh, saying. Um, yeah. Before we uh go into the asylum, um, yeah. Um, make sure you check out the mix. We're gonna pop it off. We're gonna start. Uh, you know, at four. We're gonna sh end here a little bit early so I could set it up and uh, start right <laughs> this time and not rush in. You got your it. crates together, man. I got my first crate together, mine. You know what you're gonna play a little bit? Yes, I do. Second crate. Freestyle. Right. So I don't know what I'm going to bring. Oh, freestyle. Huh? But I'll tell you what. Uh, Celos uh, popped off a really dope mix on Monday. Um, he did a combination of hip hop and some rock fusion like songs like that were, you know, rock with, with you know, verses on it, like hip hop verses on it. Um, killed it. Mm. It was pretty dope. Celos is dope. Oh, man. Big ups to see those. Crazy dope, my. Um, yeah, so uh, we popped those mixes off on Monday uh, exclusively on Twitch because we can't run them on, on YouTube. So make sure you check us out in the mix. See Los and myself 
Mondays with the video mix. I think Javi Lopez is going to join in. So uh, at some point, you know, it might be C. Los and Javi. And, you know, we're, we're going to mix it up a little bit. But uh, make sure you check for it. B underscore real TV. Must have a Twitch account to see that. Or if you got a full membership of the be real TV site, you could watch it there as well. So um, make sure you check it out. And with that, we're going to open up the doors to the insane asylum. That means y'all got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion. Let's go. Welcome to the insane asylum. All right, let's do this. We got Midget Mike. He's asking, yo, table, top five things you need, you must have as a Cali native. Wait, what? What are the top five things you need and must have as a Cali native? I don't even know what the fuck that means. As a Cali native. A car. Because everything is so far. Um, it's not like New York where you can get a get on a train or a bus or whatever and it's it's all sort of in close proximity unless you go out to the sticks Definitely towards Buffalo. Car. You need a car. Uh sunscreen. <laughs> sunscreen. <laughs> or help. Yeah. Huh? That that would help. Yeah. You know. Well, depend on the situation you're yeah. in. Probably uh, a pistola. True that. <laughs> Very well said. These days, times. You ain't lying. Uh, good weed. An avocado toast. <laughs> An avocado <laughs> toast. Uh, I don't know, and probably a circle of of people you could trust. Yeah. Weather, women, and the weed. With that, like Biggie said. <clears throat> we got to ask a bum saying super group idea. Eric Sermon, Eric B, um, Everlast, and Eric Big Drum Bobo call it Nightmare on E Street. Hmm, that's pretty cool. The oh, E Street band. You'd be the night. the new E Street band. Oh man, <laughs> I ain't gonna. They're going to be mad at you over there uh, with Bruce and them, but. Uh, e Street Bang, huh? E Street Bang. All right, we'll consider it. All right. We got B Fake up in here saying millions have emailed me asking me when the next album drops. Born to be Lazy comes out next year, but it contains the hit, Begging for Them Digits. All right. We got Utah Hawk saying, Cook breakfast for 100 co workers today. 15 dozen eggs and a few hundred pancakes, 15 pounds of sausage, and 300 slices of bacon. Wow. Jesus. How much of it did you dry out, man? Wow. And I how, bust and, his balls with the And with food. those eggs, how many of them titties were out? How many titties yeah. out? Well, all scrambled. Usually they do scrambled when it's mass. It's like the only way to really keep it, you know? You should call that kicked in the nuts. <laughs> how you like your egg kicked in the nuts? Oh, <laughs> scrambled. <laughs> Does it, excuse me? They'll be like, what? We're, the, you, we're, we're creating new terminology for this eggs, stuff. You know? <laughs> for eggs. Yeah, I like my titties out, please. Mm. I'd like my kicked in the nuts. There you go. Where is that on the menu? <laughs> we got Least Coast asking, what eggs Miley Cyrus running? Sunny side none, he's asking. Yeah. <laughs> Bees things. Oh. That's messed up. You guys are totally wrong. <laughs> and we got Ask a Bum saying WWE wrestler Virgil died died today too. Oh, rest in peace, Virgil. Peace, Virgil. Yeah, I saw Godfather post that by the way. He'll be on tomorrow, guys. Yep. He will be in the house with a special guest. Yeah, rest in peace. I don't really know who he was as a wrestler. Was he like a pretty so, big guy back in the day? So there was a wrestler called, uh, named Ted DiBiase called the Million Dollar Man. Uh, Virgil was his valet, which was his partner. Um, you know, he'd be the one to uh, sneak attack you because he was paid to be, uh, you know, Million Dollar Man's flunky, you know what I'm saying? He was a good good character in his role. Ted D. We got Gas Man Landlord. He's saying Demrick is in my city today up in oh, Winnipeg. God damn, I've been watching the story with the below zeros and he's been in some 
snowstorms. Mm. Crazy out there. Style, you know. Uh, those winter tours are yeah. nothing to mess with. Yeah, no. Nah. They ain't. Oh, so, you know, if you can avoid it. Uh, hey, mm. Salute to Demrick and, you know, safe travels to our bro. Hello. We got Smoke Sack Max saying 50 Cent probably called the UK and said, don't let, uh, don't let y'all rule in. <laughs> so check this out. <laughs> don't let this motherfucker up in here. We got a Axel up in here saying 5150 is going to be ordering their eggs like that across the land now, all because of you guys. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Someone should film it. I want to see it in a minute. While they're educating uh, the server. I want to see the server's reaction. Like my, um, <laughs> back my eggs titties out, please. Well, what, what, what do you mean? Oh, uh, you guys call it sunny side up. But yeah. from where we come from, it's titties out. <laughs> I'll take my titties with a bra. <laughs> take so my I, titties with the bra. He'll have his titties kicked in the nuts. <laughs> no, <that doesn't laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I, I, I meant to kick in the balls. The titties. Just How would you like your eggs kicked in the balls, please? There you go. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what does that mean? Like uh, oh, scrambled. Sorry. <laughs> we got Wings Hauser up in here saying, I'm the greatest <laughs> actor in Hollywood history. Wigs. Good old WH. All the wigs of love. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to Wigs. call out the Jeffrey Osborne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On them wings. <laughs> on the wings. <laughs> on the wings. <laughs> uh, he mostly played a bad guy, right? If I'm not mistaken, in the 80s. Yeah. The yeah he looks like and, bad. and some of the 90s. Yeah. All right. Wangs. You think in the South they call them wangs? Yeah. Sure. They call them, hey, wings? my friend Wangs. Wangs. He said, is he Chinese? No, man. This wangs. You know, like the wines of an angel. <laughs> wines. All right. And uh, we got Hand of uh, Boxing Review saying, um, talking about Bobo and the car chases, L.A. is the car chase capital of the world. Yes, it is. Yeah. The world. Wow. The world. Okay. world. I figured the country for sure. Like, the nobody has more chase, but wow. The world. the world, Chico. Yeah. I mean, check out that. I mean, 24-7, <laughs> all kinds of years, whatever. Got right. one for you. You need to be the spokesperson for Pluto now. Yeah. He You're cheating for, on Tubi. He said forget sure Tubi. Are. Forget Tubi. I'm, I'm all keeping about. my options open. <laughs> right. I'm not limiting. No. Opportunities. We got Hybrid Cypher saying, I want to suggest Snoops the East Siders for movie night. Say who? Snoops the East Siders for, for, for movie night. Oh. Maybe it's what? That's In, probably why he's suggesting it for movie oh, B, night. B movie night, I think he said. Did he? I think so. Yeah, yeah, he did. You know what I just saw, which is pretty pretty cool, that uh, movie, The Underdogs, that Snoop Dogg is in. Is that the football. new one? Yeah. Where he's like an retired football player or something? Yeah. yeah is yeah. it good? or You know, it, it's, it's kind of cool. It's <laughs> okay. Kinda good. You know, it ain't bad. It ain't bad, you know. Work yeah. up. This is another one. Salute that he's getting these uh, these type of opportunities, man. Yeah. I mean, he based it off of his uh, youth football league that he does. Right. So it's kind of it's kind of cool. Yeah. But some of the, somebody did a hip-hop movie, like, comedy from, like, back in the start of hip-hop from, like, the 60s and 70s. You didn't see the trailer. Mm. It's, it's like a... So it's a comedy base. A comedy base, yeah. Like, they're making fun of all... Not making fun of, like, telling the story, but making it funny along the way. I think what almost was. like, uh, almost like, what's that show? History, um, drunk history. Yeah, but it's not, you know, them being drunk. We got Grant Johnson saying, "Yo, guys, I'm not <laughs> drinking anymore." He's saying, "I'm not drinking, um, out of control." Saying, "C minus and Cali Blaze have helped me. Right, Best right. show around. Thank you, everyone, for your contributions. The last few years have been a real challenge." He's saying thoughts of suicide and homelessness. Mm. Not easy to talk about, and then I go off saying worse stuff anyways. But thank you guys for the support. Good for you, and I wasn't laughing at your sprite. It was your name. <laughs> it was Grand Johnson. I had to laugh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, hey, stay strong, man. Yep. You know, um, you're more than enough for yourself. You don't need all that, um, you know, what you thought you needed before in the alcohol. You know, you, that, that doesn't make you anything. It just uh, drags you down. So... 
you know, stay on course, man, and say and 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 try to say the positive things to yourself about yourself and and manifest good things, man, because it's about the seeds that you plant within yourself and believing in that. Um, don't believe that um people aren't beyond redemption, right? Um, other people will give you a chance if you make a mistake. Um, most of the time we make mistakes and we beat ourselves up and we don't forgive ourselves for those mistakes. You got to be able to forgive yourself and like push on because at the end of the line, it's all what you make it. You start putting a positive um, suggestion in your conscious, you might live a positive reality. Work to that. So uh, strength and prayers to you, man, and keep on with the fight. Congrats. We got Johannes Rebel asking the table, does anyone know who made the big green thumb light-up piece on the table? The green thumb light-up piece. Oh, there you go, in the front. See right in the front, the green thumb? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember who made that. It's never on, though. <laughs> got to turn that shit on. All right. We got uh, Jesus up in here. He's saying, uh, Bobo, that movie is awful, and I'm from Long <laughs> Beach. Uh -huh. I guess he's talking about the Snoop. The Snoop movie, I think. <laughs> think it's I, I mean, I'm not saying it's award-winning, but it's all right. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You watched it. He's also saying, uh, no, he meant the uh, East Siders movie. Actually, oh, well, that, that, I had oh, nothing, oh, I had oh, nothing to do with that one. We got, uh, let's see here, we got Mad Way saying, yo, Insane Asylum, catch Bolton and Bart's barbecue tomorrow night on the usual suspect sesh. Check it out on YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, shout to, uh, shout to Ghost Boogie. He's having Bart's Barbecue and I on his podcast tomorrow. Boom. So go to YouTube, Twitch, The Usual Suspects, and it should just pop up. There it is. And uh, let's see here. The last one so far, we got Hybrid Cypher. He's saying uh, Snoop did an East Side as movie, and it's a video release one. And he's saying Trey D, Goldilock, and Sugar Free are all in the film. Right on. Okay. Salute to that. There you go. Another suggestion, Bobo. Um, we know more come as we go, so uh, we'll be looking out for them. But thank you for your interactions and uh, all this. I think you just got another one. Yeah, we got a uh, ask a bump saying the Treehouse Crew should drop an album. Bolton, you write the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. got Dom producing me on the yeah. lyrics. We got Ra Ra to do. He'll the, be making the music videos. Yep, he'll do the. Oh. See, you guys got it all in <laughs> one right there. Boom. And we got Funky Doobie saying, yo, may I get a birthday shout out? I turned 28 today. Hey, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, young men. Party on and accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy it. Get, get some good weed and have yourself a good time with all your good friends and leave all the boof behind. You know what I'm saying? Pretend your, your birthday is like a new year for you because it is, basically. Um, that should be how you do it, right? Like the way everybody wants to give up something on New Year. Your birthday is a new year for you. Give up something on your birthday. Something that's like boof that you know. That's actually the only real New Year we have is our birthday. Yeah. You know? And by the way, um, you know, buy a gift or say thank you to your mother and father if they're still alive. You know what I mean? Because they're the reason that you're here. A lot of times we're expecting gifts on on this day because it's our birthday. You know, give one to to your parents if you're in a good place. You know what I'm saying? If they're still alive, surprise them and give them a gift for your birthday. How about that. All right, next. We got Wizard Music saying that Nelly movie Snipes is all right. <laughs> you guys see this? No, I have not seen that. No, not at all. Nelly. Man, is that like yeah, one of the Nelly. movies that they don't even use blanks or bullets? They just use a, you know, they just color it in, the uh, the bullets. But that's what that kind of movie looks like. Oh no, Ray's laughing at this movie. The Must Spites. not be good. You know, it'd be a, a movie for you for for B movie night. I don't know. And it was a it was a meme last week, but um, gleaming the cube. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Gleaming the Cube is terrible. Have you ever seen it, Bobo? Mm -mm. Oh, I think that's a perfect. Christian Slater. Yeah. I think Josh Brolin may be in this. That yeah. is a good one for your. Tony Hawk as a very young kid. Oh, wow. What? That's right, yeah. Stephen oh, Bauer, wow, 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 wow. a.k.a. Manolo, is in this. Wow. 
Like that. I think that's uh, Christian Slater, one of his first movies. Uh, 89, yeah, probably one of them. Yeah, man, Max Perlick, your, your good friend Max is in. Maxi. El Maxi. Uh, who else is in this? There's a few people. But, uh, yeah, you really want to B-movie it up. There you go. That's one for you. Or are you looking for crude, crazy effects? No, no, that's that's good. You know, we look for all kinds of little, you know, interesting B movie, B movie gems, gems. You know what I mean? There's one that I was, you know, watching the other day with Barbie Benton. Oh, remember Barbie Benton? Yeah, she uh, for a time she went out with Hugh Hefner, right? Right. Um, she also danced in Laughing. You look at some of those old school 1968, 69 um, laugh-in things with Goldie Hawn and all that. She's one of the dancers back there. And then for a short time, uh, she did this um, TV show with two other chicks, I think. It's about a singing group. It flopped real fast. It didn't last. It was probably the late 70s, early oh, wow. 80s she did this. I, I think for ABC. Yeah. And um it was horrible. Mm -hmm. So it went away real quick, but I believe that's one of the tings on her resume. Yeah, she has some doozies. Yeah. This movie is one of them. I might show it. Yeah. We got Rusty up in here saying Cody Rhodes versus The Rock at WrestleMania 40. Damn. All right. Rock's getting active. There must be a movie he's got coming out, so he's extra on the that's market game. He is coming out with that. Uh, we talked about the other day that Ric Flair documentary. Oh, that's dope. I mean, he's got the means to do stuff like that now, man. We got Utah Hawk. He's a uh, youth football coach, and he's saying it's kind of a joke dealing with all the parents and board members. It costs a fortune, he's saying. Word up. Utah in the chat. That's got to be rough, working with all the parents and coaches and dealing with all the like little drama between all the little kids and everything. And it's more it's, the parents. It's more the, the parents, yes. yes. Yeah, especially because yes. a, a lot of the parents think their kid's the star on the right. team, so they should get extra. Or their kid's not getting enough play. Well, maybe your kid or that sucks. Too. I'm sorry to tell you, but <laughs> you shouldn't play because, you know, you're, we're here. The kid sucks. So that it's a bench. hard job because you have to juggle all that. You want to be able to have all the kids because realistically, it's about the participation and teaching kids the game as opposed to it being about winning at first. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe but, when you're real young. But after yeah. that, it's about winning, bro. After yeah. that, but, but... It is. I'm sorry. It's like, what, it's like do the all-inclusive and everybody gets a trophy. You're teaching the kids the wrong thing. Coach Blaise. You didn't earn shit. A participation trophy... It's absolute crap. It's basically saying you get rewarded for being mediocre or, or not. You're supposed to strive to earn that. So when you get it to do nothing, it's like takes away from you. Well, it's I not that they're getting that. it to do nothing. It is. I mean, it's really that they're participating That's in the first place. That's not a place. trophy. You get a trophy because well, you Well, I'm not good. saying they should get a trophy. Yeah. I'm just telling you what it's for so that they can. Because realistically, to get kids to play games... At that age, you got to give them an incentive. No, we played, and the kids who sucked, they they sucked. But no, they no, that you're not you're not hearing what I'm saying. Yeah, is that they need kids to try to participate, so they want to try to reward them for that, so that they keep participating and learning the game and like yeah, keep but that's moving the forward. Thing. If you suck, don't reward them. Say, hey, you suck. Try a different sport. Well, you know, don't well beat here, them here's on. the thing though. <laughs> hey, not every athlete that ever played the game started as a good athlete. Cali Blade. No, not all of them. Not all of them. Some of them had to learn how right. to play the game. They might have had natural. There you go. Ability, That's the difference, though. And but they, they may not that. have been good at it, and they had to learn. And this is how that happens. But the natural ability guys aren't the ones on the bench. They you were just mediocre. I mean, you don't know that for a fact. Better. You don't. Not a fact, but it's pretty much. You're definitely yeah. not going to be running a rec center. Yeah, I don't no, think you're going to be a coach for any <laughs> of them. Any kind of youth. But I get what you're saying, though. You know, like it. 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 It is. It's it is a thing, you know, like at, at our age when right. we were playing sports, they didn't give us a participation Not trophy. If you got first, second, or third, those were the That's trophies. It. Right. That was it. There was no certificate. Mm -hmm. There was no, none right. of that shit. But, you know, I think in that there was a decline in numbers of kids trying to 
participated sports. So it's the incentive of, hey, look, you're doing all right. You may not be as good as him over there, yeah. but at least you're trying. <laughs> I think it was probably more of a, a thing instead of decline and thing, more parents just being pussies. Like the, it was the older parents like, why doesn't my <laughs> kid get something? I, I, Your kid's not as good as my I kid. See it, no, I see it now. Kelly Blaze Youth Center. <laughs> No, I'm just saying that realistically, <laughs> like, it. look, up. it doesn't, not just that, it teaches them, look, you have to, you have to earn these things. You don't just get rewarded for Well, there's, nothing, there's different know? gloves that, that people treat kids with today than when we were kids. Definitely. They didn't have gloves. Nope. No. You know what I'm saying? So we grew up a different way, and, and, and now things yeah. are different. We're like, you're sounding very old in the way that, like, <laughs> our parents saying. would be like, I remember That's when right. I was a kid, and <laughs> yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Uh, when we were you, bad, the you coach gotta, punched you us gotta, in the face. You gotta you know? let go of that because yeah. those decisions ain't yours. I mean, I imagine, I can imagine uh, an orientation at Kelly Blaze Youth Camp. Right. <laughs> if you suck, uh, you're, you're not yeah, on my yeah. team. Suck, yeah. He's not gonna play. Yeah, absolutely. If you suck, care. you're not even gonna be <laughs> on my team. You're not gonna sure. be in there. You can sit over there with your parents if you yeah. suck. <laughs> we're trying to win here, buddy. You're not trying to win. We're trying to win here. When they do the little tryouts, he's like, nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. I'd be like, what's nope. his name, Drewski? <laughs> the way he treated like, get him the fuck out of here. This guy's terrible. But see, you got to understand, <laughs> like, if if you're getting them when they don't know the game yet, you have to sort of teach them, and not every one of them gets it, like, right away. Some are late bloomers into the shit. Yeah, well, now, once if, you bloom, but you if you're talking be on my about, team. But if you're talking about <laughs> teens, right, yeah. that have, have been playing for a while, yeah, it's a different mentality because you're playing with kids that kind of know the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you notice when certain kids hot dog it, and when certain kids ain't working as hard as the other kids. And he tell her, "You suck. Your parents suck. Yeah. Your grandparents suck. I dealt the whole family sucks. You knew this kid. Get out. Why'd you your bring parents should be ashamed for allowing you to <laughs> suck so bad. Yeah. I'd be more at the parents like, you knew this kid was terrible. Why'd you bring him here? <laughs> because we wanted you to teach him. We heard you were a good coach. Yeah, I'm like, well, your son's coordination is terrible. He's not going to be good. Oh my god. Yeah, he should be a lawyer. Get yeah, no here. coaching for Get Cali him to the books. No. no. You did the Donald Trump right Your kid's got a court. Yeah. <laughs> Your kid is uncoordinated. He did that. It's Joe. <laughs> He's not going to be able to walk. Oh, my God. Can you imagine doing that in front of the band? Oh, Your my kid, God. Your kid's got a court. Yeah, don't, sign, don't, don't do any... <laughs> Don't sign up for any coaching. Unless your kid's good, then I'll give him a warning. Like, hey, He's going to be getting in fights you every other day you. with the fathers. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean my kid talks? I'm like, do you have eyes? Your kid is terrible. He just swung at every ball and missed. He's terrible. What do you mean what is he talking about? It's garbage. You know what? I did feel that. There was one time I went to, <laughs> I went to this recital uh, with, a, with an ex. And, you know, uh, you have all these kids, like, doing their little, you know, instrument, play their little song, right? So this kid takes out his violin and starts to do his song. And from note one, <laughs> it was all wrong, you know? Oh. And it's like, and I kind of, like, busted out a little laughter a little bit. And then, oh, you see them, and then you see the parents just, like, turn around real quick, like, look at me, like, in my direction, you know? What I had, do you want from me? I, Did I'm you like, hear that? I, I kind of, like, <laughs> yeah. went in your direction, like, Thank you. yo, do you realize what you're hearing right. here? Do you realize that your your kid is not hitting the notes the way that they need to be here? You know, so I I stepped out because I was got to laugh. I, man, I was in tears because I was here. You should have done it in there for sure. I had you know, and then the parents started looking at me. They just turned over like. Oh my God, how dare you? Nothing like a kid. good nothing like a good point and laugh. You should have been. <laughs> <laughs> with the fingers straight up <laughs> just like that <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hey Blaze, could you watch your kid watch my kid for me? Oh my god, <laughs> with pleasure! Oh my god, hey, can you take my kid to batting practice? Sure, he needs a little help. Oh my god, kid, you suck! You're like, why did we come here? Tell your parents oh. to get you out of baseball yeah, and into math or something. This is not <laughs> you. Pick my Play kid checkers. Up. Yeah. Pick my kid up from school, and you drive your car like at 170 miles. Like, Watch this kid. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, oh shit he's not an encouragement coach <laughs> folks oh. but All if right. you're good i'll encourage you <laughs> you keep trying you get the hell out of here you get out of here yeah. you you're try. gold you're a copper 
beat it. Oh, man. <laughs> you Ooh, absolutely we. suck. I was going <laughs> to say, are. I think in like Utah Hawks case, they're trying to teach the kids more like sportsmanship. The That's game, cool. Like yeah. how to play with each other, teamwork, like all that type of stuff. Right. But when someone on the team doesn't work, tell them he doesn't work. <laughs> Like, hey, you guys are all good except for Joe over there. I mean, that's he's fair. really holding us back. I mean, that's fair. You know what I mean? He's the one holding yeah. us back. You guys are all Him. doing great. Not you, Joe. You are absolutely <laughs> terrible, and I don't know how you got here. But I'm gonna get rid of you. Trust me. Damn, <laughs> Joe. I feel yeah, bad for you. Joe. <laughs> are you offering refunds at your youth camp? <laughs> no. If parents knew he sucked, when hey, he's but I'll tell you what. There are coaches like when when they're like getting the like they're coaching kids' teams. They do cherry pick like that. Like mm -hmm. the top coaches they'll pick all the good players yeah. and leave you with the the inexperienced yeah. players that you actually have to teach the game yeah. to compete against the other kids that actually can play the game because yeah. maybe their parents taught them before they brought them in yeah so they have an understanding of it already you know what i mean um it's tough you see it and it's <laughs> yeah. it's pretty tough all right next one and we got a Utah Hawk again saying, Callie Blaze can come be my assistant coach. I need him to be my enforcer. Done. Yeah, like, I think Utah Hawk will run a tight ship. How old is the, the kid you're, that he's uh, doing? Do you know? Were they, like, high school, junior high school? I thought they were, school? like, fifth, sixth graders Oh, or so, okay, yeah, so young. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not that young. I mean, they're young, yeah. but, I mean, like, they, they have an understanding of it. Sure, by then, definitely. Yeah. What is he teaching, football? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. That's definitely one where you better sack up or get out. Kelly can be the tackle you know what coach. Mean? You're like, yeah. No, <laughs> like if the kid's running, like he's like scared to catch the ball, boot right in the ass, right into the sideline. Like you are not going to make it. You're oh, playing the man. bench. Literally just right man. in time. Boom. The halftime pep talk by yeah. Blaze. You little cunts better yeah. get your shit together. I bet you are a straight up pussy. You're scared of the ball. Oh, my and God. You are. You're scared of everything. You tackled. wouldn't be lasting in that make. Lead, league long. Wow. Bro, what do you mean? I'd be like the head coach. You can't I'd talk to the... kids like that. Sure, I can. And someone needs to. This Good is a job. soft generation. Maybe college, uh, you know, kids. Yeah, but I got to work them from kids. They got to get tough skin. So when they you get drop the college, ball, you're a complete pussy. Ready. You, you <laughs> would never, you would not last a week with that. I don't know. I don't think they'd last a week. Only the good. They ones. wouldn't last either. But you wouldn't last. Good all ones either. would stay. We got to. The 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 parents would be like, hey, um. <laughs> we gotta do something about this coach. Oh, uh, I mean, I beg you. No, heard, you gotta uh, do something uh, about your kid. Is that you? Tell you him. heard the way he was talking to little Timmy last week. Yeah. Oh my God. Yep. Well, beg uh, Timmy oh, is oh. playing like he's got uh, what's it called vertigo and he can't even walk. So no, this ain't gonna happen. I don't know. I don't think you win in that case, Cali <laughs> Blaze. Oh, I'm winning. I'm Timmy's father. You know why? There you go. Timmy sucks. Yeah, I just want you to know. But you know what? John and Mike's father. Well, I'm like, your kid's great. John's great. Beggy <laughs> back. Go, oh, Cali, and get these crappy kids. I'll have, I'll, I'll build my 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 uh, followers for mm. sure from the good parents. Mm, that'd be an experiment. <laughs> All right, next. We got Marbell up in here saying, everyone disc Colton for me, chaos style. And he's saying, seize up. All right. This is going to be interesting. Bring it. All right. Three, <laughs> two, what? Sat you better be yelling at that. Learn how to <laughs> roll your arms. Roll your fucking arms. Yeah. <laughs> I got God, this. Come on, Bobo, pull that, it together. That's that's that Satan paint color. Right. <laughs> Satan finish. fire. Fire. <laughs> you betcha. Okay then. <laughs> Don't you know? Beer darts. <laughs> Beer darts. Oh yeah. All right. Firm hyena. <laughs> Firm hyena. <laughs> the last one so far, we got Hybrid Cipher saying, "Dope Hood B." It's just like Rick Rubin's American Records. <laughs> what? Man. Who wrote <laughs> that Kelly Blaze should coach the Special Olympics? Oh, no. Man. Yeah, but see, no, that's different. Oh, no joke. No, no, no. Don't laugh. That's a completely different story. <laughs> don't cry, that Bobo. Is where, listen, Stop don't it. cry because this is not a joke. That's where you show compassion. That's completely different. Like, For real? No, absolutely. <laughs> you, I know you would think I would be brutal. Bobo no way. is crying. No way. See, I'd be exactly opposite with those people. Absolutely not. I would treat them like gold. You've made it's Bobo cry. It's the ones cry. that don't have those things. <laughs> who, yeah, no, you're, no. You're making Bobo cry, Cali. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'd be good to Special Olympics. I'd make it. I'd turn them into the champs. Pull it sure. together, Bobo. Pull it together. He's leaking. Okay. He's leaking. He's got yeah, I see it. I don't it's believe tears. you. It's yeah, tears. I, I, it's I the tear like trickling down. I don't believe you. You should. <laughs> I don't believe you. Absolutely should. The trickler. Lie. Oh boy. 
You really triggered him today, Blaze. He like had a trickle of tear coming down his cheek. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, he's dripping. He's dripping. The reeking, leak, leaking, leaking, well, reeking. Well, <clears throat> you know, it you know, My mind just went. I just, <laughs> just uh, I know. Oh, All right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for getting down with us today. Dr. Green, Dub Show, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 Eastern on the start. Welcome. We welcome all to get down with the highest show in the world. All right. That that means y'all. Again, share it out. Spread the words. Smash the like before you go. And uh, much love to all of you. Uh, Bobo. Quit crying and get thank you, shout out. Thank you, Kelly Blaze. <laughs> yeah, you got that, was, that was great. You're I welcome. needed that. Um, catch me on the socials on Twitter at Eric Bobo on IG at Eric underscore Bobo on Discord, Insane Asylum, and Bobo's Corner. Uh, big ups to everybody here at the table. Uh, sorry about movie night last night. Uh, we was all at the uh, yeah. cafe, uh, Cannabis Cafe, eating and getting high. But uh, we will make that up for you guys. Uh, big ups to everybody in Treehouse, everybody that supports uh, Discord mobs, ev- everybody. Uh, we say, buddy. Midget Mike called you Benzino. <laughs> <laughs> Bozino. Oh it's Bozino. That's great. Uh, shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Film. Shout out to the Dominator. What's going on, Blaze? Nothing much, man. Shout out to everybody at the table, 5150s. Everybody supports the show. Uh, OG Cannabis Cafe, Cheech, and the whole crew. Thanks for having us. It was a good time. And uh, yeah, I'll actually see you guys manana. Gunslinger Volume 2 coming up next. Swallow that. I got.